Same as the previous two? Yep. Alright, same as previous two big ideas, let's say that way. Okay. Now we'll make a note here, there is a special place you could look within that lesson um, to have some really good information. Does anyone know where I'm referencing? No, on that lesson. Please hear, I do not want you Googling, I do not want you using a dictionary because you are going to rob yourself of think time, which is important. Yes, pull that lesson out. Uh huh. Look at the back side of that. Oh, wow. Okay. Is there a good summary? Yeah. Yeah. You see that? So if you look on the back side of this, right? So you, you, we took notes on this side. But if you look on the back side, right, where it says angles formed by lines cut by transversal, we see alternate interior, same side interior, corresponding alternate exterior, right? All those are here with examples of which angles are which and the definitions of the theorems we need to know. So, I might add that extra detail of backside. Y'all, I already know this information. This is not for my benefit. This is for yours. Stop talking, take some notes. Angles formed. I can see by lines cut by a transversal. Then wait a second. Sorry. Okay? So that is a great lesson or part of the lesson to look at specifically. Ladies, what's going on? Hey, let's grab a seat. Let's take notes for now. We'll figure it out later. So, what notes should we put for ourselves under alternate interior angles? Amari, what notes should we put here? On what? On alternate interior angles. They're like alternate. They're like. You're trying to call What you got? They um. Any like numbers? Oh, like no, not like inside the girl. Okay, so when we talk about alternate, hold on one second. So alternate interior angles. This interior right here refers to what? Inside the parallel lines. And that's what you were saying, right, Amari? Previous. Same as previous two big ideas. Yes, ma'am. Well, all we've done is define the word interior so far. We haven't looked at the alternate side, right? And that's important, right? We're trying to break this word, this phrasing down. So we've got the idea of interior is inside the parallel lines. Matthew, what do we mean by alternate? Uh, they're on like the other side of the train. Opposite side of the train. Okay, so on opposite, which I will point this out. You want to know what's another word for opposite? Alternate. alternate. That's literally what alternate means, right? So it's on alternating or opposite sides of what again? The Not parallel lines. Transversal. transversal. Remember, we already have the parallel lines right here inside. Here's on opposite sides of the transversal. Now, I could redraw this or I could number some angles up here. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, number some angles up here to help me reference. See, I drew the, the parallel lines under transversal. So what is 
an example of alternate interior angles? Ooh, uh, well, me and you did the back. So one, you think one and three? Wait, what are you no, 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 Wait, what is, what is one and seven? No. Yeah, one and seven. Yeah, one and seven. Wait, what? Not in Okay, so we need to be careful. I asked for based on this. So notice I just went up to tra stop talking and hold on. I just went up to transversals. I numbered those angles in transversals. And I'm just asking, give me an example of alternate interior angles. Two and eight. Two and eight. Three and five. Two and Eight, four, four and three, six, six, four, six, four, six, four and six is alternate interior. No. Alternate no. exterior. Okay, so we need to put that note under alternate exterior. So angles two and angle eight. That's an example. And what other example? And angles three and five. Notice I'm giving examples. I'm defining these key ideas so that I can use this information in the future. Is there any lasting last information I should include here? Hold on, hold on. Uh, congruent. Say that again, Matthew. They're congruent. Shouldn't we probably write about that? Sure. Alternate. Are alternate interior angles always congruent? No. No. no Why not? Because that would use the. Ah, uh, so yeah. alternate interior angles are congruent if the lines are parallel. An important thing that you also might want to add here is that means their measures are what? What's another word for that? Equal. equal, right? Their measures are equal. So if you complete this sheet in its entirety, then you actually have some really solid notes to be able to study off of for the rest of this unit. And I'll go ahead and tell you, we're probably testing Thursday or Friday for this unit. Because we only have like one, one and a half more lessons to go. Okay? So what do our classes change like at the end of Not until December. Or after December. January is when they'll switch. Okay. Can I see this real quick? All of our classes or just one of them? All of them. Okay. The only hey listen, the only word that you don't have to know off of here. So I've already told you all to scratch out a couple of these. Postulates and theorems, skew lines, don't do those at all. Leave perpendicular lines, but you don't know those yet. You know some about them. So if you want to put a little bit of information about perpendicular lines, you can. But there's some key information that we don't know yet. And Matthew, I would make sure that you go in and do it the right way instead of Google and stuff. I didn't Google this. I knew this. So, getting back to what we started on last week, we're going to use the angle relationships created when a pair of parallel lines is cut by a transversal to solve for unknown values. We're only going to spend about 20, 25 more minutes on this, but this is the sheet I'm referring to. I don't think anyone's finished the whole thing, have we? Let's get it out. By the way, the modeling of how I want you to do all the big ideas, I did record it, so you can look it up on YouTube and see how we talk through all those ideas to make sure you are doing it the right way, because I will be scoring the effort that you put into this. And it is always obvious the amount of effort you put in. Okay? It does say on the back side, the great angle chase, but that's the sheet we're looking at. It says that on the back. That's not what we're looking at right now. You'll look at the great angle chase if you finish early. Rose, you got yours, Bashar. Okay. That's it.
Okay. Really quickly, who has gotten to number 10, has finished everything up to number 10? You're already on the back side? Okay. Has anybody else finished up through number 10? No, we have not turned it in. Almost. Almost. So we only have what, through number 13? So, first things first. In order to solve any of these problems and to figure out x and figure out the angle measures, what is the first thing you need to identify? What do you have to determine about the angles? Hold on, I got multiple people talking. Raise your hands, please. Matthew, what's up? Does anyone else have a pencil? Because I have a line that I need. Y'all need to start. That's what I'm saying. Here's a colored pencil. You good? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Sure. My bad. You have to um, find out what kind of angles you need. Okay, what do you mean what type of angles they are? Like, is it alternate X to uh, Well, so remember, I will say you need to figure out alternate exterior, alternate interior, uh, consecutive interior, corresponding, all that stuff, because it tells us whether they are what? Supplementary or congruent, right? So identify the type of angles they are first to figure out if they are supplementary or uh, congruent, and then that tells you what equation you should set up. We ready to get to work? Yeah. Oh. Sure. I guess. Oh, one detail I'm to point out. This is the, the idea of the triangle angle sum theorem. What shape do we have right here? Triangle. What's the sum of all angles in a triangle? 180. 180. That's that triangle angle sum theorem that is on your sheet, one of the big ideas. So don't forget that triangle, the sum of all angles is 180. So let's get to work, working with each other, only about 10, 15 minutes to wrap it up. Remember I am grading and looking for that active collaboration. Yes, sir. You what? 